Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today we have a squad builder for you guys. Uh, this is going to be my first squad build on FIFA, 8, FIFA 19. Uh, I'm going to go with a Premier League OP side which is going to be based for the people that have a lot of coins in the game already. Uh, compared to the people that probably haven't spent money on packs or haven't um, got that much coins yet. So before we get into it if you could leave a like on the video. That would be great. Comment your thoughts on this squad builder down below or any improvements you would make to this squad or any other teams or type of squad builders you want me to do. Because obviously I do want to do some ultimate team stuff as well as obviously career mode, which I mainly do. Also subscribe if you are new around here. I really, really would appreciate that. Now, let's get into the squad. The first player that is going to be in the team is going to be Edison. Now, uh, Edison, as you can see, uh, I bought him for 27k. Now I don't know what his price is now. Some play most of these players are bought like on Tuesday when the early access came up for PS4. So I'm not sure how um, how much they are now. But he's six foot two, 85 diving, 90 kicking, 87 reflexes, 82 positioning, 80 handling as main stats. Uh, let's go over to his in-game stats. Uh, obviously, uh, oh, actually this is this is when he's got the chemistry. I'll come back to the in-game stats once I've got the full chem on all players when everyone's in the squad, but. Uh, Edison, really good player because of his just because of his kicking. I think his kicking is really really good. Obviously from normal kicks and obviously kicks out the hand. I think he's great. Uh, moving on to the next player, we're going to go with the right back, which is going to be Carl Walker. Now Carl Walker uh, again, he's very expensive for this type of the game. Uh, this time of game, uh, 75k I paid for him. He's six foot, high high work rates is really good because obviously he tracks really. Uh, far back and he also pushes up really far uh, with the 90 pace as well which helps a lot because obviously very quick and with the high high work rates it works really well getting up and down the line uh, his dribbling's good 77 81 defending 80 physical 75 passing he's a really really good card i really enjoy using him uh, for the eight games i've used so far getting one goal uh, not too bad uh, i'm going to give it a few more games to see if he's actually worth the value if not i'll sell him on and uh, pick someone else up. In the next position, we're going to go with a left back, and that is Benjamin Mendy from Manchester City. Um, six foot one, high medium work rates, 81 pace, 78 dribbling, 77 defending, 78 physical, 76 passing. He's got a nice all round card. He's very, very strong in the game. Uh, he played 29 games for us, uh, got one assist out of that, those games. He's left foot, he's got three star, three star. Uh, obviously, I'll, I'll look more in detail when we get into the um, in-game stats. But for me so far, he's played quite a lot of the games for me. He, he's been a really good player for me. Uh, I'm enjoying using him. And yeah, moving on into the first centre back, that is going to be Virgil Van Dijk. Now he is very expensive for this type of this time of the game. I ended up paying 102k for him. Uh, medium, medium work rate is really good. Um, he's got good pace for a centre back, 71 quality defending and physical. And his dribbling and passing are all right for a centre back as well. But this card is phenomenal. He's really, really strong in tackles and on the ball. He's really good. He plays out well. Uh, good dribbling for a defender, which is really good because this game, it, it, you can get caught out if your players aren't good at dribbling and moving away from other players. So with that being in, that being said, moving on to the next player, which is going to be Informatip, his centre back partner or one of his centre back partners from Liverpool. Uh, Matip's card is. Very, very good for a centre back. 73 passing, 71 dribbling, 85 defending, 80 physical. They're the main stats. He's six foot five as well. Medium, medium work rates. Uh, he's played 13 games, one goal for the club. I think he's really good because he's so well-rounded in terms of his like defending and physical stats, and then his dribbling and passing are also very high. Uh, I only paid 22 and a half k for him, and which I think is a real good deal. But I think he's even cheaper now because I bought him on the day he came out uh, in the team of the week. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's Matip. Uh, like I said, I'll go through all the uh, in-game stats once I've briefly gone over the players. The next player is Inform Gundogan or Gundogan, Gundogan, however you say it. I paid 78k for him. Uh, I think his price has gone down now, which is really annoying because I thought it was going to go back up. But anyway, 14 games, one goal, four assists, high medium work rates, four star, four star. He's got a really good card. Look at that, 87 dribbling, 86 pace for standout uh, stats. All above 70, uh, and I think he, he's a really, really good card. He's well good on the ball, with passing and moving plays, linking up with the forwards, the wingers. Uh, he, he He's really good because he sits there uh, in the midfield, in the CDM role, and he's just able to pass out, make really good passes, through balls, long balls, anything like that. 
even the only problem with him, I'd probably say 5'11", is quite small for a CDM maybe. But I don't. at the moment, he hasn't really done anything wrong. So that's why he's in the team. Next CDM is going to be Granite Xhaka. Now, obviously, people would look at Xhaka and be like, oh, nah, he's not a good card. But I've been using him, and he, he's been quite good for me so far. He's quite well-rounded, apart from his pace, obviously, being low. But this game, pace doesn't really matter, in my opinion. The gameplay is really slow down. And for 13k, an 84-rated in-form card for, in the Premier League, you can't really go wrong. Uh, 15 games, one goal. It's not that great. Uh, medium, medium work rate is good because he, he, he gets up when I need him to and he's also back when I need him. Six foot one, taller than Gundo, which is good because it's it, you got a little bit of a balance in your CDMs. Um but yeah, Jack has been a good player for me uh so far. Left mid is going to be an untradeable Rashford which I got in a two player pack. Fourteen games, eight goals. Now the the goals have only started to come since I've changed to this formation, four two three one. I was playing him as a winger, uh left forward, it wasn't really working out. I changed the formation and, and uh He's done much better as a left mid. 92 pace, 82 dribbling, 80 shooting are his main stats. High medium work rate, which is really nice uh, for a left mid. Weak foot, four star skills. Uh, no, weak foot, four star, skill moves, four star. Six foot one, which is really nice. Um, overall base card. And he's just brilliant getting up that. Uh, the one twos I play with him and the striker, who you'll see in a minute, is so good. The link up play is quality. He's really, really good at that. If you do the L1 pass where the player make, passes it and then makes a run, Honestly, Rashford is the best winger to do that in the Premier League. Um, if we move on into the next player, which is going to be a big one here, boys. It's going to be untradeable and obviously player of the month, Lucas. Now, I picked him up. I did it for free because I had all the players in my club. Now, I've only been able to play two games with him so far, but he has bagged two goals in those two games. So, he's looking promising so far. Medium, medium work rates. Four star skills, three star weak foot. The three star weak foot is a bit off putting, but and so is the height, 5'9, but it's not that bad. 94 pace, 89 dribbling, 83 shooting, 83 passing. Really, really nice card. The only downside, like I said, the height, the weak foot, and maybe the physical stats, which is the only annoying thing. But if you get the right chem style on him, uh, I've gone with a maestro shooting, passing, and dribbling just to bump up his main stats. Just to make him that much better. So far in the two games I've used him, he's so quick to get behind the defence, and he's really good at putting balls in and uh, playing playing around uh, with the uh, with the other players in the team. So moving on into the cam position, second to last player, it's going to be the Champions League version of Roberto Firmino. Now, like like Lucas, I literally got them on the same day um, from doing the Lucas SBC. I got this Firmino card. Two games, two goals, like Lucas. Uh, high high work rates is really good for a cam. Four star, four star. Five eleven, which is a bit dodgy, but it's not that bad for a cam. Really good stats. Eighty seven dribbling, eighty four shooting, eighty one passing. The physical and pace is really good as well for a cam. Uh, Firmino's quality, I, I really like him. His long shots are like in game when I'm actually playing with him. His long shots are really good, uh, and for a cam, it's quite good. Uh, his link up play of the striker again, really really nice. I, I can't really say much about him and Lucas because obviously I haven't actually used them that much yet. Um, so that's Firmino. Last player in the team is going to be a striker from Arsenal. It is going to be Andre Lacazette. Now, the next player, uh, the, sorry, the stats for him are really good so far. 32 games, 15 goals, 10 assists. Now, this has been quite hard for me to try and find the best formation for me because uh, I've been swapping around, but I've kept Lacazette in the team throughout. And. He's now only just started to bang in the goals and get the assists with this formation. 4-2-3-1 is a real good formation. Uh, high medium work rates, like, like I said, high attacking work rate is really good. 4 star, 4 star, I really like. 5-9, you could probably say that's the only downside to him. He's got good pace for 8 81. Like I said, pace doesn't really matter as much, but he does get in behind the defence uh, and cuts into the channels and stuff like that, taking the defenders out. Uh, his dribbling's really good, which is really key as a striker, especially in this game and the gameplay. Uh, just moving around slightly, holding the ball, like LTRT dribbling kind of. Shooting's really good. Uh, so that's Lucas. That is the team. Now I'm going to go into the in-game stats um, of the players. So if we go to Edison first. He's got 85 diving, 80 handling, 90 kicking. His reflexes go up to 87 with uh, the chem style which I have, which is cat. His speed goes up uh, by 10 in acceleration. Sprint speed goes up by 5. Positioning goes up by 15 to 82. Really, really solid card with that um, chem style. I'm just basically showing you what the chem styles do to the players. Uh, so for Carl Walker, I've gone with Sentinel. 
uh, his interceptions go up by 5, heading accuracy goes up by 10, marking 10, stand tackle 15, slide tackle 15, jumping 10, strength 10, aggression 10, and all round, all round his stats are really good, acceleration 86, sprint 3, 93, you know, uh, he's got some good reactions, his shot power is very high by the way, I don't know why it's that high compared to like his normal shots, but uh, we'll go on to the next player here, oh, go, went the wrong way, Matip, I've got a backbone on him, to increase his passing, physical and defending, um, his passing stats, uh, his vision goes up by 5, crossing up by 10, short pass up by 10, which is really good because he goes up to 82 short passing, which as a centre back, you're going to be playing a lot of short passes. Long passing up to 79, curve 76, 67, sorry. Um, defending stats 87 and 80, all in the 80s, it's really, really solid cards. Nearly getting a couple of 90 stats in there as well. And for the physical, 5 plus on the jumping, which is good because his jumping is not great before you put the chem style on. Uh, strength wise it goes up to 83 which is really good uh, moving on to Van Dyke his sprint speed goes up by 10 so he's got 75 sprint speed now which is really good acceleration goes up by 15 which is also good because it means that obviously when he's like made say he's like made a bad pass and then he has to sprint back accelerate uh, the track back um, it's bumped up quite a bit uh, moving on to his defending stats for this uh, card I've put a shadow on him uh, interceptions up by 10 and then he's got 82, 84, 88, 83. That stand tackle, 88 stand tackle, is really good for someone like Van Dyke because obviously he's quite tall and he and he's quite central when he plays centre back. He doesn't like drift off to the left back kind of bit or right back. Uh, so it's really good for him there. Mendy, uh, his pace goes up, a sprint speed 85, acceleration 77. Like I said, as a left back, it's good to have a pacey uh, wing backs and stuff like that. Defending wise. Uh, 79, 65, 78, 79, 80. They're not the best stats, but for a left bag, it's not actually that bad uh, getting plus 10s. Uh, in the physical, the jumping goes up, which is very good. Strength and aggression, they both go up as well. So it makes it like an all-round card, um, all-round stat card in a way. Moving on to Gundo, uh, his pace and sprint speed go up by 5, which is good because it gives him a little boost. Because he's, he's not the quickest of players. Um, then his, pass, pass, oh, his vision goes up to 89. Then we've got 91 short pass and 86 long pass, which is unbelievable. And then we also have the 88 and uh, 88 reactions, 89 ball control. Dribbling is 89 as well, and his composure is 90. So when he's getting pressed and he's getting tackled, his composure his composure is good enough to actually hold that player off and still make a, a decent pass. So um, it's really good. Moving on into Shaka's uh, car, I put a guardian on him. His agility goes up, his ball control goes up, his dribbling and composure go up in the dribbling section. His then his interceptions, heading accuracy, marking, stand tackle, slide tackle all go up. As a CDM, those stats for the defending are really good. Obviously, um, it, heading accuracy is good. I know obviously it's only 64, but to get a bit of a boost is good because obviously a CDM from a goal kick or something uh, going up for headers. Stand tackle is good for a CDM, so slide tackle, and his marking has gone up as well. So. That's um, Xhaka, moving on to Lucas, uh, we go for the shooting section first, attacking position goes up to 87 which is good because obviously he's a right right wing and he's really quick so he's getting in behind and getting in the best attacking positions um, with this boost that makes it even better. His shot power is 88 which is incredible, if you do the correct shot then you should score every time with him. Long shots 83, long shots are really good on this game as well so it kind of helps. Short pass, long pass have been bumped up, which is good because I like to play the ball nice and short, getting all the touches in with different players, keep possession. Um, his agility has gone up to 98, nearly a 99 stat there. Balance is unreal as well. Ball control, dribbling, composure, unreal stats for Lucas. Really, really big improvement, really good player. Rashford, I put a finisher on him just to bump his shooting and physical up. Uh, his physical, he's gone up to 70 aggression, 71 strength and his jumping has gone up to 62 which is good because obviously a winger you know you need to be a bit strong when you're running down the line uh, attacking position has gone up, finishing, shot power is 87 now which is good uh, and there are the main stats of him obviously it doesn't really bump much up but it, it's mainly for the physical I put this on for him moving on into the second to last player Firmino, uh, acceleration 79, sprint speed 78 which is good uh, shooting, attacking position has gone up to 88 88 finishing as well, which is they, those stats are unbelievable. And the physical, he's got 82 jumping and he's got 91 stamina already, so he'll be he he can go for 120 minutes if it happens. Uh, 90 minutes, you can do the full 90 without having to get subbed off. So that's great. Next one is Lacazette Catalyst card on him. 
acceleration 79 sprint speed 83 because of the boost and then you go for the passing as well short passing goes up to 80 which is good vision 74 which is also good for a striker you know if, if like he's holding the ball up and the wingers make the runs down the wing he can make he's got the vision increase to make his vision look better and his passing better to make the passes um so yeah that's that's really it obviously it's free kick accuracy but let's be honest i haven't scored a free kick in this game yet so i'm not expecting that to go in so that is the team guys um let me know your thoughts down below if you're ever going to use this team or you think it's good let me know what players you would use in your team or what players you would choose to swap out in this team to improve thank you guys for watching so make sure to subscribe post notifications on and i'll see you guys in the next video peace